and you say you live on an island. Yeah, it's a little, little island. How uh, do you come to Brussels and Strasbourg? It must I take you ages. I, <laughs> yeah, I don't walk. I take the plane. <laughs> In Denmark, uh, you're well renowned for climate change and renewable energy. Yes, we are. Uh, and me, myself, I have uh, worked as an analyst uh, into healthcare and architecture. Oh, so, su sustainability and uh, also energy efficiency of uh, hospitals and nursing homes is uh, some of my core competences, actually. So, I will continue the work of uh, Ben Benson and also expand uh, the scope to include, I hope, water. I'm very interested in uh, also the energy and climate issues around uh, water, clean water, and mm. also how we can uh, uh, take energy out of uh, wastewater. And you say you live on an island? Yeah, it's a little, little island. How uh, do you come to Brussels and Strasbourg? It must I take you ages. I, <laughs> yeah, I don't walk. I take the plane. <laughs> I take the plane from Copenhagen to Brussels, and that's it. It takes not the same time as if. How I do you get to Copenhagen from the island? It is a, a, a little island in Copenhagen called oh. Christianshavn. That's where the. So there's a bridge to the mainland. Yeah, yeah, oh, right, yeah. Yes. A little, little, little bridge. Uh, uh, very well known to young people and old hippies. But old you hippies. are not an old hippie. No. For how long have you been in <laughs> European politics? I am in European Parliament now for ten years. Yes. Um, I was never really a career politician. My leader of my party in Fine Gael, in the Kenny, he asked me to stand for national parliament yeah. a few times. And I said, no, 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 I'm fine, yeah. or I am. And then he asked me uh, to stand for the European parliament. And I said, yeah, that sounds interesting. Let's see what it's like. Yeah. So, OK, I said, I'll give it a go. So I was elected 10 years ago, I was elected five years ago, and I was elected again, so. What made you change your opinion about going into politics? Well, one of the things I liked about the European Parliament is everything is done by majority. Yeah. So you have to convince people, yeah. this is good, and they vote for it if they believe in it. Yeah. And I think that's more challenging, I like that. And I also like the fact that nobody could put an into Parliament no. uh, after three years and four years. It is five years, it's clear. Yeah. And I think. I like that type of a setup mm -hmm. because you can plan, mm -hmm. you can do your work, and you know when it's going to finish. Yeah. And I think a lot of things, and also the broadness of Europe. I think Irish people always were going abroad. We had missionaries mm -hmm. everywhere. Mm -hmm. So did the Danes. The Vikings came to Ireland. Yes, we threw them did. out yeah. in 1014. I know. The Battle of Clontarf. <laughs> but uh, just, I think psychologically, we think outwards. Yes. So going to Europe. And trying to do something at European level appealed to me. Yeah. And you? Have you been in politics before? Yeah, in the county council uh, of Funen, the little island where yes. Hans Christian Andersen was born and where okay, Ben Benson is uh, living. Yes. <laughs> um, I was that uh, for two periods, eight years, mm -hmm. 15 years ago. And then I left politics because of uh, family issues and also because I wanted to. Uh, try to have uh, a daily life outside of politics. I, yes, I volunteered to be uh, a member of my party 36 years ago, and for me there were only politics in life until uh, when I was I in the miss. middle of uh, my 30s and uh, a little boy became my extra son. Uh, yes. And I wanted to take care of my Good children, idea. but also to not be known in the future as the the woman who was, I'm a nurse, I have four educations, but my first is being a nurse. Mm -hmm. And I was always seen as the young nurse talking about hospitals. And yes. I really wanted to come back uh, in the future with more in my uh, competences, more yes. in my rucksack uh, than just being the woman and the nurse. And I started my own business fifth, uh, Did you? 12 years ago. So you're an entrepreneur as well? I am, yeah. What, what sort of business? Architecture and health. Uh, so oh, I'm a kind well of a building advisor. Is there anything in particular looking forward to working on here in um, <laughs> Of course the climate uh, yes, issues and, that, yeah. yes. uh, and also the uh, competitiveness uh, and the uh, cohesion of uh, Europe in the global situation with a lot of unipolar mm. power uh, play going on. Uh, I really would like to contribute to 
to protect and develop our democracy, but also to keep Europe in the uh, as the lead uh, globally into all areas, especially yes. into climate, but also digital, health, trade. I think you're right, and I think we actually, in our group, which I love, yes. the EPP, we take responsibility. Mm. In actual fact, we're like a government without being government. Mm. That's what I've found about the EPP. Yeah. They look at it, they say what's best for the community, what's best for citizens, yes, exactly. what's best for the world, exactly. and we don't play games. Yeah. I find the people on the extreme right, the extreme left, sometimes they're just playing games. They're opposing things for the sake of it, to make it publicity and make noise. And I think we have a huge responsibility in that regard. Yes. Because the world depends so much on a stable Europe. I think exactly. a stable Europe can help have a stable world. But if exactly. we don't have a stable exactly. Europe, exactly. things will fall apart very quickly. Exactly. What is your best advice for me? Best advice is not to overload yourself. Mm -hmm. Get involved in the things that you're happy to get involved in. And don't be getting involved too much in things that you're not comfortable with. So looking forward Thank to working with you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure.